Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. Here with my father. Kevin. It's a nice one. Very uh <clears throat> very straight to the point. Yep. Let's get it. Very energetic. <laughs> uh we are covering an album from a band. And did you know about this band? It is is actually one guy. What? No. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh back to some Tame Impala. We've done two of his records, and uh we're going back in time. Back going in to time. His, uh, second studio album, Honorism. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Thank you, HelloFresh. I am a pretty busy person. I spend a lot of time editing videos, filming videos, and my dad, he does stuff too. I don't have too much time to go to the grocery store. And HelloFresh is my recipe for success. HelloFresh is more convenient than grocery shopping. It's also 25% less expensive than takeout. This summer, spend less time meal planning and prepping with HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients. They make it easy to get cooking quick. From foolproof instructions to high quality proteins and veggies, HelloFresh brings out your inner chef with every tasty, easy to prepare meal. You guys can go to hellofresh.com and use code TURNINGTABLES16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Once again, that is hellofresh.com. Use code turning tables 16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping thank you hellofresh for sponsoring this video we love you very much track number one be above it Love, those are analog drums that really sound programmed. Yes. So you, got to, got to, got to. Okay, I, I know what you mean by raw. Yes. Oh, You know what? I love the drum sound, I'll tell you. You know what it sounds like? What? It sounds like I was when I was playing a drum kit in my buddy's garage. <laughs> yeah. Like, I got that part in my head. <laughs> that was cool. It was yeah. a it was a cool snippet. I it was wasn't like a super hooky song that was gonna you know what I mean that No, know. it's uh you know, kinda back to what we were talking a little about. Little taster? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, some some records come in really strong with like a crazy song. Yeah, in a the musical beginning. hors d'oeuvre. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, you walk around like this and have, have a little taste. <laughs> yes. So yeah. uh, you know, you just get a little taste of the record. Yeah. You get what I mean when I say the raw feeling. Yeah. Um, Hopefully def- the order is not raw. No. I, I got the shits then. <laughs> yeah, you'll have diarrhea. <laughs> Track number two. Under trois. This is cool. I really like the flanging. I'm a, mm-hmm. You're a flanger fan? I'm a flanger fan. Especially if you, you know, a, it. a pan flanger fan. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a dream sequence. You know when you go into yeah. the dream? Nice! Great drums! Yeah, the drums are yeah. great on this record. You know who he plays like right here? Who? Keith Moon from The Who. Oh. Let's do it. Just sort of loose, like... Yeah. Here. Oh, totally, man. You know, I'm digging this album already, man. I, I like it. It's cool. I like it. I, the uh, the authentic and rawness. I love the like. rawness of it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
the I love this, there. I love the fills and I love the psychedelicness. Yes. I love that. The way he's singing that and the, talking about going to sleep. Holy crap. This sounds like the chaos of the day he's talking about. Yeah. Doesn't sound like the sleeping part. This is like a traffic jam. Yeah. People rushing around. You're like, fuck it, I just want to go back to sleep. <laughs> that was short but sweet. That was fantastic. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I, yeah. I like the yeah, I know we'll just sound like broken records, so yeah, I'll say yeah. it one more time here before we keep going into the track list. Yeah. But the, the the raw, authentic feeling that it yeah. brings. What I need to know from Kevin Parker is that, and I'm really, really, I'm, I'm really curious, is that does he lay down a, a just a fucking click track and then, or just a scratchy drum track and then do all this stuff? Like he does the scratch track, he goes, boom, 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 does all this great shit, right? Mm-hmm. And then go in after the fact and just fucking Keith Moon it. Like he was, because the, the way he was, his arms were flailing. I don't know if you ever watched Keith Moon play, but <laughs> yeah. like just sort of like this. Yeah. This is, you know what? This is cool again, the way you've you've set me up. Um, in terms of like the order of in records. the order of it, yeah, because you know I listen to Currents and it's really well done and polished, and then and then we they go to Slow Rush and it's 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 polished, polished as well, it's polished but, as well, but more emotional. Yeah, and then this right now is just showing. I love it. I love going backwards. I'm fucking weird. Yeah, no, yeah. no. I think I think that's honestly we went in the direction that a lot of people do go in. Yeah, uh, because if you weren't, you know, following Tame Impala you know, from the beginning, your first uh, exposure to them was probably through um, Currents. Yeah. So then you go and check out Currents and you're like, oh, fucking this record's great. I like it. Yeah. And then the slow rush comes out and you're like, whoa, new record. I got to see it. Yeah. yeah, And then you fall in love with those two albums. I got to go back now. I got to go see. I like, I like that because you see where they are and then you go back and see where they start. And I think that's a really cool way to do it. Track three. Apocalypse Dreams. Wow, so 60s now. Yeah. He's great, man. He's fucking... I know. To do it all by yourself is insane. I love when he sings, eh? Yeah. When he's, when he's not doing the falsetto. Like just this. as a normal kind of... Normal yeah. voice? Yeah, right here. I know. I wish he did that more, Wait, honestly. here we go. Notice how those crashes fill the whole head. Yes! Yes! Oh, I love how the guitar followed the vocal. Oh, man. (laughs) What? What year was this around? 2012. Wow, yeah. Whoa. That was a different dimension. Yeah. We just got sucked. <laughs> right up. We are somewhere else right now. I guess I should warn my mom because she'll be excited. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy this so much. You know, I'm listening to this album and I'm hearing elements of what he's what he becomes later. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. man. Yeah, just a overall really talented guy. Oh uh, yeah. 
cannot help go. Ooh, yeah, right? I just like, <laughs> keep on the yeah, I know. Hands. I Oh, I like that straw. First thing I want to say is like, I, I'm going to talk about drums again, but it's very important is that I love how it's, how he's ha has the mic, however he mic them in the studio, that they sound muted. And it sounds like there might be a blanket or something over top of them to mute them. Mm -hmm. And it, that's what, when I was talking earlier about me playing drums in a garage is that we, yeah. I would put a sheet over it and it had that flattening sound. He's got that to it. And it really, that flattening of the, of the drums really pays uh, uh, respect to what's going on with the synthesizers. They yes, just and marry, the yeah. And they just marry very well together, right? Yeah. Cool track. Another fucking great one. I but, love. I was just saying. I love when he sings. Like he's. I like him. I like him opening his vocal cords much not more just than doing the falsetto. falsetto. Yeah. Yeah. You know the one thing I I find fascinating about this track and a couple others uh, that are on the longer side. Like that was uh, almost six minutes. Yeah. Uh, just a few seconds short of six minutes. Um. When you're playing with a band, it's easy to go for fucking seven minutes, right? Because yeah. you are ten minutes because you guys are just jamming. You're and in you're, the groove. and you're feeling it, and like you know, you want to repeat that again. Okay, well, let's all go. We're having fun. Yeah. But by yourself, I find it pretty interesting how he's able to you know craft the song that long. Like what made like you would think by yourself you cut it short two forty five. Yeah, because three you would get you'd get bored. You'd be like, yeah. all right, I'm not gonna keep going. But that's a it, good point. Yeah, it sounded like. That was a bunch of guys jamming in a studio, just having fun, yeah. letting it, letting loose, and going on for you know, that, a long that's, time. You hit it. That's good, man. Okay, um, we'll go to uh, track four. You ready? Yeah, I look naked, man. You do look a little naked. I know. Look at watch. It's like <laughs> it's gonna be trouble. Track number four, mind mischief. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hear a stick hit? That's yeah. fucking great. He kept it in. Well, he, he obviously did that on purpose. That stick yeah, hit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be the first person to say that the start of this sounds like John Lennon, probably, right? Oh yeah, this is one of the more John Lennon sounding songs. Okay, okay. There's a couple others. I just want to sound like the old head guy. No, no. <laughs> you know. I think everyone agrees okay. with that. Those harmonies here with the vocals that 100 percent yeah. John, yeah. Which is fucking cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, man, if he's if he's doing this in one take, I gotta give him kudos for it. Right? For that. If he didn't loop this, like No, I like, don't think he did. Yeah. That's totally John. It, if you told me this was off like uh, one of his albums, yeah, so would, I might have said, "Wow, I've never heard this." <laughs> You'd have to have which Macaulay to hear, like, yeah, a little bit of Yoko. Yeah, yeah. Great groove, though, eh? Oh, totally. Wow, nice flanging into this. Doesn't flanging take you somewhere else? Yeah, it's like it it's like transports you yeah, to somewhere, you're, another woo! place in the track. Yeah, it's cool. Even the guitar has, like, you can hear the full I, offs and it's scratching. You're it's like, like reading my balls. I totally hear Like, everything has, yeah. has the raw, authentic yeah. feeling to it. Not in a way that makes it bad. No, you know, sometimes no. you'll hear a band that's, like, kind of amateur. And yeah, yeah, no, no, this is... What I love about that too is that he he's creating it, and it sounds like a band feeling. Yes. Wow, mind mischief. That was fucking great, man. Yeah, I love that track. That's one of my favorites. Wow, he has the knack to make uh, it sound like a band, which is 
which is very difficult because you could fall into the trap of just being safe and, and looping, looping and playing a root note, and which is exactly what I would do, and yeah. and then and do one guitar part and keep it the same. Mm. But th those stick hits and all yeah. that stuff, you would swear that's like five guys fucking all stoned on acid just jamming. Yeah, no, for sure, and that's I think one of the most uh, impressive things about yeah. uh, just well Tame Impala in general, but I think this record uh, specifically because. Um, of where he was in his career at the time, very making cool. it. Um, yeah, yeah. I I think that's one of the more John Lennon vocal sounding tracks on here. There's a couple that are very like you hear yeah. it and you're like, whoa, that's very John Lennon. But it's not to the point where it's like, you know, taking away from what he's doing. No, no, no. I think it just adds to it. Also, we've gone later in his catalog, and he kind of loses that each record by yeah. the slow rush yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not really you can't really yeah. say anything sounds like and that goes right work. back to what you were saying about influences talking about influences you start out and you know and and you know jid starting out sounding like travis little right? wayne little wayne yeah sorry yeah little wayne yeah and then as you as he goes along you get your own thing right you yeah get, you, another, another uh, artist that we were recommended young young senju yeah, uh, yeah i've yeah. been listening to his record on repeat uh very jid inspired very uh kendrick inspired but um, you know, I believe someone told me he was he was like in his twenties or he's twenty years old. Yeah. So give him four years, he's probably going to develop his own sound. The one song that I had back then on the radio, I remember we it was played and everybody was phoning me way back in the nineties. Uh, the guy who as soon as he said it and he played, he goes this uh, this guy here, this artist is uh, me. He says he's uh, he must listen to a lot of Brian Adams. Oh, because you submitted your song. Yeah, and they played it on the radio, and then everybody was phoning me. But he right away was like, he goes, you know, he's, you can tell it's pretty, yeah, yeah, exactly. It was pretty. Which, nothing wrong with that because if you would have kept working on music, kept, yeah. you would have eventually developed your own sound. Yeah, it would have came up. And if I was listening to all these other artists, right? yes, was, not just Brian. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just listening to Brian Adams. And so Brian Adams, John Mellencamp, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, Tom it's Petty. Sound the same. But if gonna, you expand and you. you try different things and which is clearly what kevin parker has done yeah. throughout his careers is learning uh different you know just learning from different life experiences yeah. really and uh taking in new music and new consuming different art and yeah. uh yeah it plays into i think that's so important you know that like re, like the, it, for especially for for writing music right there's like is is traveling, uh, meeting different people, reading books. I mean, yes. it, it all puts into your changes your mind. Yeah, your, movies, shows, yeah, uh, everything. Uh, yeah, you said books. Yeah, all that is uh, important. I think uh, if you're an artist, to I take did everything things. wrong. Seriously, you avoided movies. I avoided. <laughs> I seriously avoided movies. Didn't really watch a lot of TV. Didn't really read. Didn't really read a lot. Well, dirty magazines. Um, <laughs> that didn't help. And <laughs> had this little musical box that I stayed in. Right. Yeah. But uh, that's all changing. <laughs> Track five, music to walk home by. But that's Great, man. Yeah. Those analog synths are what make the difference. You hear them. For this track, you yeah. Hear That's a great line. The mover I could turn into. Yeah. Uh, this next upcoming verse, I love it. Glad I got the lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Yeah, as, as lonely as this album is written about, I could, it, for me, it's like, it's sunny days. It, like I, it, it's, I, I picture it as like, it's a comforting album in a way, because yeah, yeah. it's talking about these lonely subjects, but you could put it on and walk around like a busy park in the sun and you, just kind of that, watch people. You're in my head! <laughs> so I'm just thinking, walking around at the beach with this yeah. on. Nice fills. Yeah.
<laughs> this fucking guy talented, man. Seriously. Now he's looking at the off. Yeah. Those are... Very Ringo, eh? Yes. It's like Ringo on a little more acid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was going to say Ringo on acid, but I'm sure he's done acid. Yeah. So <laughs> Ringo on some more acid. Yeah. Is this album really loud? Because I find that our, we're really yeah. yelling. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. I just hope people can hear us. I would turn it down, but it kind of ruins the experience of yeah. listening to it, you know? We'll just talk louder. Great track. Great. I, I love the lyrics on that track. Really good lyrics in that track, man. And, and you know, talking about that, I was, that's what I was thinking about in my head was like being lonely, but there's so much sunshine coming from that track. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it sounds yeah. so uplifting and, uh, and positive. It makes me like want to put headphones on if I'm feeling lonely and go walk around like a, a place that's relatively busy, like you said, like the beach or a, yeah, a yeah. park or something and just watch people and have yeah. this going on, being in your own kind of world. Yeah. And the, see, you know, it's crazy about this is that is that is is perception, right? Is that... Mm. You, again, I'm, I'm looking at the embodiment of the song right now, but and then the lyrics are, are are quite deep about loneliness, right? But you dressing, you dressed up, and you walking down the street, people see you as oh, he's he's probably fucking yeah, having a great time, yeah, lots living. of friends and blah, yeah. blah, blah, all that kind of stuff, and and that's that's the song. The song is colored as you are, but inside people are having a tough time, and that's yeah. there's that's it's it's a it's a it's an amazing way to write like to, it, to paint that picture to yeah. paint that picture. Yeah, it's, it is. It's hard to like. It's crazy to take that idea. You know, like you said, someone looking good, looking happy, walking around. But inside, they're lonely and and feeling you know, yeah. these dark feelings. It's yeah. it's crazy to be able to put that into a song without doing it in a way that's like super clear. Like it's not like he said yes. those words exactly. He's yeah, like, I'm yeah. walking down the street, which I would do. Yeah, and I'm lonely, but <laughs> yeah. people are looking at me. They think I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, yeah, that's, no, he's yeah, able yeah. to take our thoughts and, and put it into song exactly in a way that's not just you know too obvious and yeah it, it, you can be it can be read in different ways it's, it's yeah. beautiful track six why won't they talk to me Love the love the driving of the song. Yeah. These remind these these little spots here mm -hmm. remind me of thoughts and stops where you're. Yeah. yeah. Then if if you're walking around to this album, those are the parts where you're kind of being in your head. Yeah, and then yeah. You're back to this. Yeah. This is, uh, man, this, the whole album is filled with these feelings. Like, it's yeah. a really happy song, but man, it's hurting inside. Yes. Wow. This is really good. Really, really good. You know that meme that's out there, and I'm starting to know memes? Is the bus in half? Yeah, looking at both sides. Yeah. <laughs> yes. One at the mountain, one at the... This yeah, is, this is, exactly. Yeah. I'm surprised you know that. I get shivers from those sounds. <laughs> nice. Isn't it nice with a surprise? Just acoustic guitar? Yeah, I love like it a just, random acoustic yeah, guitar. Yeah, it just pops in and... Now here it feels like... Now it's, it's crazy. What It sounds like a, a group of people all asking that question. Yeah. Really? Like, you know what I mean? They're yeah. all, all got together with acoustic on the beat. <laughs> yeah. And they all became friends. <laughs> <laughs> It's a happy ending. Now, yeah. <laughs> God, a great film, like yeah, the snare roll. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> That's a great song. That was a great song. That was that was so well constructed. So much good shit going on. 
sad, sad message. So I, you know, I felt bad bopping to it, but it's uh, yeah, it's like we just talked about on the last track. It's yeah. these uh, these uplifting instrumentals with yeah. these uh, you know less uplifting lyrics. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, he got a perfect balance though, and I and I think yeah. it it really does represent that you know uh, feeling of you know you look well and and put together but inside you could be fighting these internal yeah you know, yeah struggles struggle. yeah exactly and a lot of people hold this album very close to i was their just hearts. gonna say i i would totally feel if, if this was if, if this song was if this album was written and it was from the point of view of like of like chronic anxiety and depersonalization derealization would whatever, i would just be hugging it yeah. yeah this album came out at the perfect time for me because uh, it was a pretty big deal, and at least in my high school, uh, you know, my high school music that was circulating around was like Tame Impala and Mac DeMarco. Like those were the artists, yeah, yeah. That, Arctic Monkeys and stuff. Um, so this album, I remember hearing about it, and uh, you know, early high school, you, uh, I felt loneliness. Like you know, I wasn't lonely at home. I had family yeah. and stuff, and but uh, you see these groups of people and people are starting to form little kind of, you know, yeah, friend groups and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, if you're not in one of those, yeah, you kind of look from the outside and you're seeing everybody, you know, having and, and fun. If, and if you don't, if you don't fit in one of these cliques, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and I didn't really. Yeah. So I was kind of uh, sitting, you know, as an outsider um, in high school and, and this album definitely resonated with me uh a lot and I, I i liked it a lot at the time and yeah. I, I still like it now i don't i'm not yeah. a lonely person now i have a lot of friends and you know people in my life that i care about so it doesn't it's not when i go back to and connect to the lyrics as much yeah um you know then i then i got anxiety pretty bad and that's when kid a and radiohead and cuddy came in to, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. to help me out but this was like uh yeah. i remember this early high school and it was uh it was uh, a treat at, back then. It, it definitely resonated with me and a lot of other people, obviously. Track number seven, Feels Like We Only Go Backwards. Oh, I love the melody in the verses, yeah. eh? Great melody for this track. Bass is on the left, eh? Yeah, interesting choice. Yeah. Wow. Would you say this is one of the ones that's got a Lennon feel in it? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. <laughs> I love the, I really, I gotta say, the looseness of, like that, it's just like, yeah. it's just laid back, it's just, cause you wouldn't, if it was like, too tight, too it, fast, it was, yeah, it was tight like that, it wouldn't work. <laughs> Weird, Phil, it went like this in it, the headphones, it, it right? It did, yes. Yeah, it was like, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it didn't go like this. Like No, it went up and yeah. then stopped here. It's <laughs> I know. interesting. Isn't that crazy how a mixer can do that? Yeah. Great song, man. Yeah, that's actually the, uh, great song. the biggest song off the album. Wow, that was great. And I think it's the biggest song because it's probably the most relatable. Yeah. Um, you know, the other ones are more catered towards that that loneliness and the isolation yeah. but this one can be related to a lot of different things so i think that's why it's probably yeah and it's you know what it starts right off with the hook yes right so it it's catches like, people it catches yeah them. yeah it's it's a crab net yes <laughs> trap crab net okay crab trap <laughs> track eight keep on lying Starting with the chorus again. Well, that's a great line, eh? It was noon, now my shadow's shadow long. Yeah. yeah. This is cool. 
sounds like all, what he's doing on the guitar is like what he was doing loosely with the drums. Yes. Leaning away. Like whipping your head around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that guitar sound. Just super plain. Oh my god, this is great. Very psychedelic. Very psychedelic. See how it? If you closed your eyes, you would swear it's a it's six people. Yeah. This guy on the head, organ, now. bass player. It's really trippy. Yeah, it's really gone. But I, I really like the unpolished rawness of this psychedelic yeah. experience right now. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, like. When you think of uh, Let's Start Here, Lil Yachty. Yeah, yeah. It's psychedelic. It has people talking, weird shit going on, but it's so clean. Yeah. Whereas this is the same concept, but just so dirty. He's had so many guitar sounds on this. Yeah. Clean, super fuzz, dirt. Just a regular sounding yeah. one. He was inspired a lot by uh, Super Tramp for this record. Oh, really? So I don't know if you hear Super Tramp, any Super Tramp. I, I, the one thing he said, uh, at least through the Middle 8 video, I believe. Um, so, you know, Middle 8, Frank, you, if you're wrong, I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> uh, no, he's talking about the uh, the chorus is how, how uh, Super Tramp would write these introspective you know, lyrics, these, these lyrics yeah. that, that are not just something fun and happy, but they would add them to these very grand and yeah. upbeat sounding. Well, uh, look at the logical song. When it, I was young, yeah. the life was so logical. But You're it's like just, this. it's like that's very logical. groovy and happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of one of his inspirations that he yeah. took. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Just to give you a little bit of insight. I'm a big super tramp fan. So me too. I, I love the tramp. Yeah. That's fucking Fantastic album. Fantastic album, man. Track nine. Elephant. <laughs> You're gonna make an elephant noise? <laughs> <laughs> Love the groove on this I one. I know it's that felt very Ringo. <laughs> yeah, it's the sound of the drums too. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love his timing and the. the doo -doo -doo. Yeah. You know that I love book about production. Like, is every album is so every album is produced so differently? Like, yes. we just heard the police there for a second, and this is like once you get in the groove of this, you, you start to fall into that world. You, you're falling that world of the mix. Yeah. You're really in there, right? I love that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Ringo. <laughs> That's all you got me at the thing. <laughs> yeah. Ringo. <laughs> Uh, that was a good track. I like that, that was a one. good track. Yeah, I I I sort of lo got lost lyrically, right? I believe uh, it is kind of about like, or at least what I what I understand from reading other people's thoughts on it. Um, yeah, because I I can't form my own opinion on things. I don't have the brain power for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's about kind of like being that outcast and seeing that uh you know person whether it's like a like a jock figure or somebody that's you know yeah whatever position you're in like if you're uh in school and you see a jock or if you're at a job and you see somebody who's very higher up oh, okay yeah yeah, um, yeah. like the, the start of the song kind of the first lyrics are uh what is it when he feels like an elephant shaking his big gray trunk, trunk for, for the, the hell, hell of it, it. 
Um, he knows that you're dreaming about being loved by, by him. him. Too bad your chances are slim. So it's kind of like about that. If you, oh, if you okay, get okay, what I'm okay. Saying. Track number ten. She just won't believe me. But she. <laughs> so it's it's an odd cut. I don't know the reason for that. Yeah. For, for the ending of just stopping. Yeah. I know there is a track. Oh, you didn't do that. No, no. Oh, I thought you cut it. No, like... no, it stops like that. Oh. Um. So I don't I don't know what the reason was. Uh, choice wise, I know there is a song that's not on Spotify. I believe it was an Apple Music exclusive, which was titled Led Zeppelin. Mm-hmm. Um. So we don't have it on here. Forget where it fits. I've heard it a few times. It's a decent song, but yeah. Um. We don't have it on Spotify. But anyway, that's just a short. Uh track there interlude type thing track 11 those are so old 60s talks yeah i love the 60s and 70s influence on this record I love that. Yeah, you know, like you said, he gets teleported away for a bit. Yeah, he really gets taken out. Oh wow, that's that's I, I can resonate with that line, man. I love his song sound. Brings me back to being like 15, 14. Just playing in a garage. Playing somebody's kid. Like. Great spacey synths. <laughs> he must have had, even though he was alone. Such fun. He must have had so much fun doing this, man. Oh man, and to come out finishing this song, yeah. like when you're done, and yeah. you, you know that you made everything here, it must By be yourself? such a cool oh, yeah. feeling. Oh my god, I wonder if you, Yachty must have heard this album at some point. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah They've can, worked together before. Yeah, that's but I mean like, that's... I've been listening to Yachty so much. That you're hearing lately, yeah. his... Uh, just, yeah, just all the... the how Tame and Paula influence the Influenced sure. it, yeah. You know what I'm always curious with, with Kevin? What? With Kevin right there? Yeah. Like, he, he does a fade out, right? Did he go on for another 12 minutes? Maybe, yeah. Like, when he fades it out on a couple of tracks. Like, yeah. it, how long does he keep it going? Like, yeah, it was cool. That was a long track. But, man, how he's, uh, it's a big title and a long song and a bold song. Lot, lots of shit happening here. Cool. Um, the final track, uh, Sun's Coming Up. I think the, I think the real thing that is just his vocal treatment. Yes, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Not his voice itself, but yeah, just the that, treatment. Yeah, that vocal of the treatment vocal with the real. piano. Yeah, yeah. But he does have a jaunt in there. Like, yeah. Da, da, da. Like that right there. Yeah. I believe this is actual audio he recorded uh, while walking to the beach by himself. I was just going to say, it sounds like, yeah, 
Yeah. Well, I think you'll hear some waves in a bit and stuff. Which I think is cool because in 2012, you could access these sounds on the internet. It wasn't like the 70s where you had to record that's, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a cool touch because it's, it's real. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, very sad track. Right? Yes, yeah, um, for sure. And this is, I, this is, I guess, at the point when his dad passed, right? Yeah, I don't know what year his dad passed away. Yeah. Um, I haven't returned to this record uh, in a while, um, other than some tracks that I have just in rotation yeah. and playlists. I haven't done like a full listen in a while. I listened to this album when I was uh, in, when it came out when I was in high school. And uh, a lot of these tracks resonated with me. But the final one, I didn't really take the time to go yeah, look yeah. into it. I wasn't like, I'm going to go find out, you know, about his father and all yeah. this. So I just kind of took that track as it was. Yeah. Um, and then I, you know, as I got older, I kind of drifted away from this record, but I kept a couple songs in, in my playlist. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't actually know. I'd have to look into that with you. I wonder if um, having that track at the end, like if if he placed that there specifically for a reason and, and saying... That, you know, okay, he he's he didn't let us know about his loneliness and the things like his, you know, some of some of the reasons he's lonely is, you know, what I mean, until be, mm. be, the ending of the album, till the very last chorus, yeah. and he says that his father passed of, you know, playing guitar, dying of cancer, and stuff like that, and then he lets us know at the end of the album with the beach walking and this kind of stuff. It's sort of you see. You know what I mean? What now? You go right back to the beginning of the album. You see some of this loneliness and all this this stuff could be caused by. Like yeah. you know, what, what this this obviously happened. Like well, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe he maybe his dad might have passed in the middle of the album. Yeah, you don't. I actually don't know. Yeah. Well, so now I'm really curious. To we'll f- look into that. But yeah. uh, as a whole, I mean, you uh, you enjoyed this project. I enjoyed it. I love the rawness of it. I love the. I like the psychedelic. I th- thought the drums and synthesizers were fantastic. I love his voice. I like that he sang a lot more. Um, and and there was less falsetto. There was a, yes. lot, a lot more vocals. Um. On there. Some longer tracks that are were just mostly instrumental. Yeah, that was, was cool. that, that was really cool. And I, I, it's 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 always a treat uh, listening to him because, uh, just sheer musical admiration. Like you know yes, what I mean? Yeah, for just sure. for for what he creates and like not and not going the safe route. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Keeping the same drum beat for four and a half minutes or something like that. Something yeah. like that, right? But he like just just do all these wild fucking drum fills and and different just a creativity, man. It's it's it's. So again, yeah, it's no, a, it's a cool fantastic. record, and and uh, it definitely resonates with a lot of people. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people hold it close to their hearts, like I was saying. You know, just because of the lyrical content and and the way it's able to uh, bring you into this world of loneliness, but also having that uplifting sound. It's yeah. it's interesting with the psychedelic feel and everything. Yeah, uh, I had fun listening to this. Did I had lots fun? of fun. Yeah, yeah. So I I don't know if we're gonna do the very the first one. Uh, maybe I'll just do it and listen to it. Yeah, maybe you can listen to it uh, on a live stream if you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not super familiar with uh, with his debut. Um, yeah. I know a few songs off there, but I've never given it a full listen. It's, so. I'm curious now. Yeah, I, right? I would have to check it out too. Yeah. Uh, so that could either be an idea where we listen to it together for the first time, yeah. or if uh, you know you do it on stream and I do it separately. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys had fun. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, how do you feel about Lonerism? Do you like it? Uh, do you think it's his best? Do you prefer the other uh, records? How would you rank them? Leave all that in the comments, and we'd love to hear your opinion. Yeah, and if you know some tidbits about uh, about the album, uh, just I'd love to see Let them in the comments. Of all, yeah, I enjoy those. I read them all the time. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you soon with more album reactions. Take care, guys. Much love, and stay safe. Peace.